people. Let me ask you guys something. When you see somebody walking around with a, a sock around their face, what is the first thing you think of? If you ask me, I would think of fatigued Batman saving Gotham City after he finishes his double cheeseburger from McDonald's or his McChicken. I'm sorry, McChicken. He's he's going on a diet here, ladies and gentlemen. He's uh, ordering the McChicken, two McChickens. You know, this is what I picture. He just he's just coming out of the McDonald's. He hops in his back car. He uh, drives around a little bit. He gets tired from driving around. He takes a break from driving around. Goes back to McDonald's. Gets another McChicken. He orders three to three this time because he he did some uh, hard work there using the autopilot in his car. Okay, and then he uh, he hears somebody screaming, so he has to he has to track down the screaming, and he's getting and the Joker's there, so he has to battle the Joker. And the Joker beats him because fatigued Batman's out of shape. And then uh, to cut his losses, he goes back to McDonald's to compensate for his loss, to compensate for somebody being murdered. Probably, probably he orders ten McChickens because clearly, honest YouTube loves McChickens. He calls Jeray. <laughs> he calls Jerry a McChicken every single day, so obviously he loves McChickens, and I, I'm gonna have to, I'll give him some respect, because he's trying to lose some weight, so I mean, I can't bash the guy for trying to lose some weight, but I mean, McChicken, or, I don't know what you're doing there, but whatever, whatever, anyways, I went off a topic there, I was trying to, you know, trying to give you guys some background stories, so I'll start over again, <laughs> So how did I find this guy? I was snooping around Twitter, right? Because, you know, sometimes, sometimes you got to do it. You got to make sure people are in their place. You know, sometimes I had to check the Justin Bieber, make sure I know when his next concert is. Had to see what Jerry was doing. Had to make sure everybody was in their place, right? And, and Jerry, Jerry, I don't, I don't even know how to say that. Jerry, I'll just say JD, because I, I fuck the first name garbage, but... Jerry, he posted a link on Twitter. I'm like, hmm, a link. Might as well click it. I have nothing better to do. So I did. And it took me to a video. And I lo I'm looping the video right now, actually, because it took me two minutes to tell my story. But uh, it linked me to a video with a, a mysterious teenager, like male, uh, a male American, uh, possibly around the age of 13, 14, that, around, that age. A male character with a sock around his face. Hmm. Like I said before, on his YouTube conspiracy, I think not. Honestly, because on his YouTube is a lot. How can I say this? A lot more. Um. Uh, a lot more on the heavier side. And clearly, this is not him. Even though on his YouTube is trying to, you know, uh, cut it down. He's trying to, you know, get it back in shape. He's getting the McChicken this time. Hopefully, you know, someone got to tell him how to. Run, get some exercise or something, because just eating the McChicken won't really help you, but hey, like I said before, not going to bash him, he, you know, he's doing his own thing, that's the McChicken diet, it's proven to kill somebody, but, like I said, when I found this guy's video and I saw a sock on his face, the first thing I thought of was Honest YouTube, and then, upon further inspection, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I'm not a, a, a detective, because my degree says beast, but... If you look in the background, there's clearly a bunk bed and some sheets on the uh, the bed indicating either he just got out of bed or he just got finished whacking somebody off or himself off or all of the above. And he had, you know, crumpled up his sheets and got all over his sheets. So, you know, he's better, he better get some laundry going or something because, you know, nobody wants to sleep in your own children. That's just kind of weird. But, obviously, this clearly means... Uh, sorry for going off a topic here because, you know, sometimes I gotta just say what's on my mind. I don't have time to refine, refrain, and reform. You know, sometimes that's the triple R which stands for stupid bitch. <laughs> just kidding. That's not what triple R stands for. But uh, those are the triple R's, you know, because that's not me. I don't do that triple R stuff. But, you know, when I see a bunk bed, the only things that come to my mind are either he has siblings, he likes... You know, sleeping on a bunk bed by himself, which is straight up weird. Or, or, and this is where it all ties in together here, guys. You, you guys will see what I'm saying here in just a few seconds. With him wearing the sock around his face, the sheets on his bed, the zits on his face, which, by the way, bud, if you give me your address, I will 
honestly send you a bottle of proactive or whatever it comes in. I don't even know, but I'll send you some proactive, but it'll be great. You, you know, will be able to get rid of those zits for you, but I mean, if you don't want it, I won't send it. I'll, I'll go buy my own mint chicken, all right? But when I see a sock around somebody's face and I see a bunk bed, the only thing that comes to my mind is this is clearly the bat cave, all right? I mean, it's irrefutable evidence. Um, obviously, this guy, he, um, him, and Honest YouTube, and some of his uh, henchmen like Jerry, Jerry McChicken, Skanger McSkag, whatever those guys' names are, Dolphin Guy, who knows? Obviously, these guys, they all crowd in his room. That's why he needs a bunk bed. He probably even has another bunk bed behind his uh, camera here, which is probably some sort of Nokia flip phone from 2005. But <sighs> with that being said, this is clearly. The Bat Cave. This is clearly where Honest YouTube resides. Um, if you if you listen closely, you can probably hear some crunching noises. Honest YouTuber just got back from saving Gotham City. He's chowing down on some McChicken. Like I said, he's on a diet, so you know people don't bash him for eating the McChicken because you know McChicken has less calories. Sometimes you gotta you know you don't want to get that double cheeseburger. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta you gotta get that out of the McChicken, man, because, you know, you know, the McChicken, although it's made out of, you know, horse shit or whatever, it's clearly a lot healthier than the, the double deuce burger or whatever, so, respect to the, the fucking fatigued Batman for trying to get healthy, but, <sighs> honestly, guys, this person, he is such a degenerate, I'm sorry it, take, it took, like, five minutes for me to get here, I rambled on, like I said, I don't, I don't refrain, I don't, like, you know, <laughs> I don't even remember the triple R saying, but hey, whatever. Um, like I said, though, this guy is clearly a degenerate. Um, he probably doesn't have too many friends, so guys, please don't be mean to him. And uh, if he's watching this video, if he wants to, he can make a video response. I'll just make another video response. Because, you know, for some reason, people get really sensitive when I make these videos about them. They think, uh, oh my god, the regulator, he just verbally abused me over the internet. <laughs> and that's when they start listening to, you know, My Chemical Ram Romance, start wearing black, start growing out the hair, and start slitting some wrists and drinking bleach. You know, that's, that's what happens, but... You know, I don't understand how people get so sensitive over a simple YouTube video. And like I said before, this guy seems like the kind of kid, or young adult, young adult, and I, I say that in quotations. If I had a webcam, you'd see me doing the whole quotations thing, you know, with the fingers. But young, this young adult clearly needs some guidance. I mean, if he, if he wants, I'll buy him some proactive because, you know, that acne is not in style, man. I mean, if... Because eventually, when you see this video, you're going to be, um, pretty sad. So, you know, the whole My Chemical Romance emo thing doesn't look good with the acne. So, you're going to, I mean, I'll send you some. I'm being completely honest. You just send me your e uh, address and all that stuff. And I'll send you some proactive and a can of whoop-ass. But, <laughs> with that being said, people, I don't tolerate this. When I see people walking around with socks on their face, the first thing I want to do is drop kick them in the head. Or drop kick their mother. Something along those lines. But people. Guys. I just noticed this. Watching the video for the 10th time. However many times I'm looping this. He's wearing an Ohio shirt. So either he likes Ohio. He's a fan of El Presidor or something. Or he actually lives in uh, Ohio. And we need to track him down. We need to. Um, I'll get in contact with the beast himself. Mr. El Presidor. And I'll send him to his doorstep. Because El nobody knows Ohio like El Presidor. And El Presidor is a beast, so he'll track him down, he'll, th he'll knock him down or something like that, and uh, it'll be all good. So, people, if you guys can confirm him living, if, wait, hold on guys, hold on a second. If you, this is a public service announcement right here. Listen guys, if you guys see a group of uh, overweight, I'm sorry, not overweight, fatigued Batmans and uh, henchmen, you guys, you guys need to call the number on your screen. If I don't put a, uh, put a number on the screen, just call the um, next time you watch an infomer uh, infomercial trying to sell you some soap or something. Call that number and tell them that you're seeing fatigued Batmans in your neighborhood, and we will track them down and we will get them, tag them, bag them, send them back to wherever they came from. 
possibly, we might, we might drop him off in the ocean. We don't know what happened to him, you know what I'm saying? Wink, wink, hint, hint. But I'm just saying they might disappear if we go after him, so. With that being said, people, this is a public service announcement. You guys, you guys need to report any sightings of a fatigued Batman with his henchmen to the nearest police department or call uh, a 1-800 number that you've been fancying lately that you like to prank call. You guys need to report that you are seeing vigilantes in the neighborhood and they need to be um, uh, apprehended for attempted murder of the first degree. Because you know what they're murdering? My brain cells. You know what? Arrest them for murder of the massive degree. That's that's like fucking negative seventh degree murder. How do you... You can't even compensate for that. Get them the death sentence. Anyways, people, I'm making this video like 10 minutes long because I'm a beast. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If they want to make a video response to me, please do because I need more videos to loop like this one. If you guys enjoyed this commentary, make sure to like... I'm just kidding. Fuck that. Um, you know, uh, I don't care about likes. Just do whatever you want. Regulator out. I have to go take care of my kids. Peace.